Carl from Retech Care Review, and today I'm just going to show you this quick fix that I found for this issue that I'm having in PowerShell. Uh, and it's when it's showing that your script is not digitally signed, so you can't run the script to the current system. Now, as you can see on the right here, I've just got some commands that I'm going to run. Uh, but basically, if you run the get execution policy, now I'll put all these in the description, but as you can see, a lot of these are undefined. So, what we want to do is if we just run this. And let's so set execution policy, scope process, execution policy bypass now. So I just run this, set that, and then do A. So it's yes for all. Now, when I run that get list again, as you can see now, the process is set to bypass. Now, if I try to run my command again, as you can see, the error's gone. So I've now got a different set of, of errors where I need to install my NPM. However, that's bypassed. This issue, this issue that I was getting to show that the PS1 file is not digitally signed. Now, what you can do just as a, to be safe as well, is um, you could, to take this back to the way it was, is once you've finished with running your um, PowerShell scripts, you could just run this next execution to set it back the way it was. So now if I do set execution policy, scope process, execution policy back to undefined, press A and go yes to all. Now if I run that get list, as you can see, that's been set back to undefined, and it will just take your settings back to the way they were before running this PowerShell script. I hope this video helps someone. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and take care. Thank you.